From celebration to sorrow, as the father of a murder victim walks the steps his son was supposed to take across the graduation stage. The Grand High School senior's life cut short late last night, shot while sitting in a car. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp with this touching tribute and the search for answers in his murder. Ashley. Hey guys, yeah, it's a day meant to be filled with joy. The first major milestone in a young person's life, graduating high school. It's one that Billy Scott Jr. was just hours shy of celebrating, walking across that stage. And of course, the ceremony here tonight, as you can imagine, was an emotional one. At this time, we'd like to have the representative for Billy Scott's family. Met with cheers and applause, a father donned in his son's cap and gown walks the stage surrounded by family in honor of Billy Scott Jr. In front of a class of graduating seniors reminded to lean on each other. There will be tragedies, there will be sorrows, but there will be much joy just as it is for most of you today. Billy Scott Jr. should have been here with his friends graduating Thursday night. He was shot and killed while in a car with friends less than 24 hours before in North Highlands. To come to that final day and not see that person, you know, especially walk across the stage with you, it, it really hurts. One of his closest friends mourning on a day that should have been spent in celebration. Getting ready to graduate. Next level, got through high school, COVID year, and, you know, 2023, class of 2023, you know, it's been a rough year, you know, so just for both of us, it was, it was like, man, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, you may now move your tassel from right to left. It is my pleasure and honor to present to you these Pacers for life. Moving on to the next step in joy, but in grief, honoring the life of Billy. And again, that shooting happened about this hour last night. At this hour, though, no one has been arrested so far in this investigation. And police tell us that they are still trying to pin down exactly where this shooting happened in North Highlands. All of those questions still at the top of the mind for these investigators, of course, on the case and this community that is mourning. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some answers out of this deep sorrow. Ashley, thank you. Live at Grand High tonight.